This process, Zimbabwe's Vice President Kemba Mohadi has been in Juba from Monday until Wednesday for bilateral talks with South Sudan's government officials. SABC's Patrick Oyet reports from South Sudan's capital, Juba. South Sudan's government says it needs support for its peace process from the Southern African Development Community. Juba is trying to implement a peace deal President Salva Kiir signed with opposition groups last year. We have been supporting during their, 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 their fight against the, the oppressors. We have been together in the trenches before we even got, uh, got our own independence ourselves. So, as a brother and a member of the African Union, we are there to support. Zimbabwe is under UN sanctions, but it has been assisting South Sudan. Zimbabwe has been offering scholarships to a number of South Sudanese students, and Juba says it is keen to see Harare continue its support in the field of education. South Sudan's government says it can benefit from Zimbabwe's human capital. They also go through the process of containment of forces and the establishment of a unified national security sector. I think that is an experience which we, we, we would like to learn from. And he has affirmed to us that uh, they have the necessary human resource uh, who have the experience and knowledge of how these things are done. And uh, we, we think that that is an experience we should, we should be able to tap into. Mr. Mohadi's meeting in Juba also had other items on the agenda, such as cooperation between the two countries on mining and agriculture. Juba says it hopes the visit by the Zimbabwe's vice president will mark a new beginning in its relations with the Southern African country. Patrick Oyet, SABC, Juba, South Sudan.